Today on You Can Do This, we're taking these old leftover water bottles and turning them into a cold brew drip machine. This is You Can Do This Office Edition. Again, we're using only stuff that we can find in our office. So we have these two empty bottles right here, these empty bottles, a glass, some scissors, and these coffee filters. Now why cold brew? When you brew coffee at a high temperature, it gets these kind of like bitter notes. And, and that's the reason why a lot of people in their hot coffee put cream in it, is to tame off that bitterness. Now what you do with cold brew is that you're never using hot water to brew the coffee. So the cold water actually gives you a lot more aromatic notes. It kind of dampens that bitterness and makes it a more smooth. So you really don't need to add milk or cream into it. I mean, if you do, you do. But that is the reason why people love cold brew. I'm gonna take one of these bottles and I'm just gonna cut off the bottom. And you don't need to buy one of those crazy expensive machines. Like there's some that like cold brew machines, those drip systems go up to like 200 some dollars. A cold brew special machine is 50 bucks. This is costing nothing, zero dollars, and it's reusable. If someone throws it away or if it gets broken, it doesn't matter. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing to the second bottle. We're gonna cut open the bottom. There's a little bit of water left in there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna fit these two things together. I pulled these coffee filters from our office coffee machine. I'm gonna take it over here. I'm gonna grind just a little bit of coffee. We're gonna bring it back this way. Now we kinda need to make our filter system. And what are we gonna use? Another coffee filter. I am going to cut roughly the size of one of these caps. We can go a little bigger to make sure that it doesn't slip, that we make sure we have overhang. So I have my double filters. I'm doubling it up just to hopefully slow it down a little bit. And you can do a triple up. Uh, the single drips a little too fast, so I'm just using two. I'm gonna take the scissors that I just did that with. I'm gonna punch a tiny little hole in one of these caps. Not too big, right? Because you don't want it to drip too fast. It's a tiny little hole, about like so. We're gonna take the cap that we punched a hole in our coffee filters, and we're gonna screw it back on to the bottle. Make sure it's nice and tight. We don't want stuff dribbling out because water, as it soaks into something like a cloth or paper, will seep out and continue. So we wanna make sure that is nice and tight. We're gonna take the scissors now, and we're gonna trim around, and now we have the bottom. You have your glass ready to go. You're gonna take this guy, set it to the side. Now we have a blank one without the filter. We're gonna put this one in first. Why are we gonna do that? is because we're gonna fill it with the amount of water. So if we have it draining here, and this is all the way down with all this water just placed up here, and we have this in the same area as the liquid line as it rises, it's no longer gonna drain. So what this second bottle here is for is to create a space for your coffee to drain into. So the coffee line can come up as we go, and this part always stays above the line. Because if it's about the same, it's not gonna drain out. All we gotta do now is take our coffee, scoop it in the top. Now this is all about preference. Do you like strong coffee? Do you like weak coffee? Do you like mediums coffees? Do you like medium large coffees? And we're gonna scoop this all in. I'm doing about, maybe about a half a cup of grounds. I like it strong. Strong like boot. Coffee. So all we gotta do now is get some agua. It's funny that filling the glass of the water is the longest part of this process because it's so fast. We're just gonna take this water, we're gonna pour it in. Almost to the top, you don't wanna get too much because it's top heavy. Um, if you don't mix it, all the beans that are not kind of hydrated will float to the top and there'll be a separation and you won't get quite the brew that you're looking for. And ladies and gents, there it is, your cold brew drippy drip. Good morning, and we're back. And we have your fresh beautiful, drippy all nighty cold brew. This, you completely get, can get rid of if you want. You can just toss it in the recycling because there's gonna be more bottles. You don't have to ever worry about anything or you can keep it, rinse it and use it again. This can be concentrated. You actually can water it down and get about two cups worth because it's been sitting so long. The bitterness is heavily reduced. It's smooth. You kind of get that chocolatey note in there. That's a free cold brew drip machine just laying around in your office. You can do this. Don't do that, but you can do this.
If you want to make food and drinks with more stuff just lying around, click here. Use just regular cold water. I tried starting in hot water and the eggs exploded in the microwave. We're finding that around a minute and 20 seconds.